Hello everyone, this is Jack with Obedia. Today we're going to be looking at Studio One and how to change some of the tempo track options or the metronome track or click track options. Let's get started. Okay, so I've got an empty song pulled up in Studio One. Uh, for this tutorial, it doesn't really matter uh, what the audio content is. Um, sometimes you would be uh, setting up a tempo track before you record any audio and sometimes it would be after. So uh, this tutorial is really aimed at uh, something, uh, a song or a piece of music or any anything in Studio One that doesn't have a consistent tempo. If it has a consistent tempo, meaning it's, it's let's say, 186 beats per minute or 120 beats per minute or something like that, and it's 120 beats per minute the whole song, then just set this static tempo like this, and that's it. You don't have to do anything else. Um, however, certain songs have retardandos, certain songs speed up and slow down. Maybe you're working on uh, a... a EP or something like that, or, or multiple songs in the same session. Maybe it's a movie or something like that. Um, any of that kind of stuff where you would need to change the actual tempo, uh, we can do that in Studio One. So the way that we do that is if we look up here at the top left, this is normally where we would find our marker track or where we would add audio tracks or something like that. But there's a little clock logo. So if we click on that little clock icon, we will see this tempo track. And uh, the tempo track is represented with this uh, little bar or line. And this is the way it is on, on most different uh, audio applications. And what we can do is go in and uh, set different points. So the first thing we could do, I mean, we could just grab the, uh, the pencil tool there. And we can say, okay, we want this section to be whatever you know, uh, 369 beats per minute because it's super fast or whatever. Um, so we can just select an area. And the cool thing is that it's snapping to the grid. So measures six through seven, or well, let's say something like six through 10. We want that to be uh, not, a, not 120, but we want that to be 100. So we can change that. And as we change this this uh, tempo track, you will see that the grid itself changes. And if I went back and I just played, let's say the metronome here, I turn on the metronome and then I just play the blank session. We can see that the, the click track, uh, we can hear that the click track is changing based on uh, what we've done here. Now I can also just delete this and go back to 120. So if I zoomed out, and let's say the second half of the song was going to be something where uh, it goes in not half time exactly, but a little slower. Then I could start at, let's say, measure 81, and I could say that it's going to come down to 88. So this is a really nice way to see those tempo changes. I can also just select the uh, area. So I could say at measure 17, I'm going to add a tempo change or split that. And uh, once I split that, I can, I can set up whatever the new tempo is. The cool thing here is that you can really get a sense of how you are stretching and compressing, as far as time uh, compression and expansion, the, uh, the measures, the actual music. And if we had tracks in here that were uh, MIDI-based tracks, or tracks that were based on the position as far as the beat, as we change these tempos, we would see that those tracks are actually going to change. Now, of course, if we recorded audio and the audio is just based on time, um, we're not changing time here. We're changing tempo. Uh, we can move this off uh, left to right, obviously, as well and offset it. Uh, so that's one thing that we can do. So at this point, we have two different tempo groups. We have a, a group of 120 beats per minute, uh, and then we have a group of 88 beats per minute. And that, for most people, uh, will do, I would say, maybe 95% of what they're looking to do as far as uh, customizing a tempo track. Um, if you want to go into some other things, like let's say you wanted to slow down um, from, from 120 to uh, 88 gradually, you can definitely do that. We can zoom in and we could have something where uh, we lower the the tempo gradually, uh, where we just kind of create this, this stepping stone, so to speak. Um, 
And that can definitely be helpful if you are trying to create something like a retardando or something like that. Uh, so there's a lot of options here. And, and basically, Studio One treats the tempo track or this block here very much like an audio track or a MIDI track or a clip or, or whatever you want to call that. So all of these tools up here that you're used to using with uh, editing audio, you can edit the tempo track this way. Um, so hopefully that helps uh, getting your tempo track uh, up to speed so that way you can uh, record a song with different tempos. Or, of course, you could also use this if the song was not recorded to a click track and you wanted to go through and uh, create a tempo track for that song. Of course, that might be kind of a tedious thing as there may be a lot of variance in the performance, but this is the way that you would do that. So in Studio One, if you don't have a consistent tempo uh, throughout the whole song or the whole piece, then uh, you can go in and open up the tempo track window right here and you can customize it. So hopefully this video has been helpful and uh, definitely check out some of the other videos on our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.